Hi everyone, in this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to go over the process of layering film grain over our entire project. And in this method, we're going to be utilizing the timeline mode inside Resolve for achieving this. So what we have here is we're on the media page of Resolve. As you can see, I have two matte files here. I've got one for dust and dirt, and then I've got another one for grain. Now what I want to do is layer this grain over the entire project. So what I do is I select the grain file, and then instead of selecting an individual clip, as I normally would be doing, I'll select the timeline. And then what I do here is I right mouse click on my grain file and then come up here and select add to media pool as matte. Now as you can see it appears in my media pool with the small um, matte icon here. So then I can proceed directly to the color page now. You can see on the top right of the node graph display it says clip mode. If we click on that we select timeline mode. So this is a second layer of uh, color correction that can be added for the entire uh, project. So what I want to do first is add a serial node and then I'm going to do is add a second one. The reason why I add two is because this will allow me if I just want to do a small correction over the entire project before I layer the grain I have that capability of doing it. So now what I'm going to do here is come over to node number two right mouse click on it, select add mat, and then you select timeline mats, and then select grain medium. And now that's been selected for the entire project. Now as you can see if I click on the bottom one that says external mat, then I have all of my key functions that can be altered. So for example if I want to loop it, if the file is not long enough or if I want to change the size of the grain I can unlock it and then I've got all my pan tilt zoom and rotation controls right there. Okay so now what we want to do here is we select this one and then we zoom into the picture so I can see what's happening here and then what I do next is come over to my gain side here and just bring that up as you can see now the grain structure of the file comes through and then what I usually do is just add a little more contrast to it and then I right mouse click on here select zoom to fit and now I can add that like so and then we can check it out for the entire project Okay, so there we have it. So for more tips and tricks like this, don't forget to have a look at the other videos on our YouTube channel. And for more information about training services, have a look in the comments below. Thanks and have a great day.